Bitcoin is now dropping even lower, grabbing the liquidity below the previous low. In today's Bitcoin price prediction video, we'll talk about a brand new descending channel and exactly why a super high volatility is incoming in the crypto market. But first of all, what we are going to see. Remember the daily high term time frame area of support we talked about already yesterday. It was at 26,900 US dollars, where we got almost perfect alignment with our golden Fibonacci ratio, but it really looks like that, unfortunately, our golden pocket right here and also our daily high term time frame support area was not respected. We literally smashed directly through our daily level and we went even lower towards the downside. That is why a couple of hours later after I released the video, I published on Twitter right here something very, very important. Golden pocket on Bitcoin is not holding. Watching the liquidity level next at 26,700 US dollars or the daily level reclaim. Now, it really looks like that we haven't been able to reclaim our daily level right here, but we were able to go even lower towards downside to grab some liquidity below our previous low, exactly at 26,700 US dollars. Now, let me do share with you why this level right now is being literally perfectly respected. We talked about our Fibonacci extension level. So if you go with our Fibonacci extension exactly from the high right here, back towards our previous low and back towards our previous high, it really looks like 1.236 Fibonacci extension level was hit to the exact dollar accuracy. And on top of that, if you're using Fibonacci retracement levels from our swing low back towards our swing high, going with the retracement levels, 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level on Bitcoin was hit almost exactly to the dollar accuracy. That is why we got a very small push toward the upside, retesting our daily high term time frame area of resistance. But the reality is, when we right now pay attention to the volume, how much volume is coming directly in the market on this specific push towards the upside, it really looks like that volume is almost non-existent. We are still seeing super low volume on this entire push towards the upside, which pretty much means all we are right now seeing is a weak push towards the upside. It can simply be retest of our daily before Bitcoin is going to continue even lower towards the downside. Later in the video, I am going to share with you what is going to be a sign of strength and why you need to be careful in the upcoming hours for very high volatility right here. But nevertheless, right now the reality is Bitcoin is dropping lower towards the downside. We are retesting the resistance level with super low volume. And on top of that, let me right now share with you what specific very important level was broken towards the downside. Unfortunately, right now we lost this significant ascending channel bottom support area at approximately 27,200 US dollars. The ascending channel or the diagonal support area right here was definitely broken towards downside and also not to mention we are right now again trading below the value area high of our entire bottom price section again below 27,200 US dollars which again it's not really going to be a super bullish Bitcoin indication. So as of right now what we are seeing right here I would be slightly more cautious with the Bitcoin price itself, also knowing that in the upcoming hours we are going to see CPI data release. More about that slightly later, but what we can do right now is go on this specific chart on Coinbase, where we are going to notice that already right here on the chart I do have a brand new descending channel that has been respected on Bitcoin for the past couple of hours. We are simply connecting our previous highs right here and expanding this one towards the previous low, where we are going to notice that Bitcoin got a reaction towards the upside exactly at the bottom right here. So as of right now, we are trading in some kind of a descending channel, which theoretically does have a higher probability of breaking towards the opposite. But nevertheless, we need to understand Bitcoin got a push down, we grabbed some liquidity below our previous low, and also we are hitting or actually we are trading at some kind of a support area. That doesn't mean we need to immediately right now go towards the upside because as mentioned, we need to talk about a sign of strength. And before we do talk about the sign of strength and also what other people are right now doing in the market, if you want to trade with us, secure the 30,000 US dollar free trading bonus with the first link down below in the description. Click the link right here, register after initial deposit, you get the 
bonus you can trade with bonus and withdraw the profits to your own wallet and on top of that also best trading bots are available with the second link down below in the description on OKX. Right now I do need to share with you what other people are doing right now in the market. Couple of minutes ago we actually got quite a nice bearish divergence forming. Lower high on the Bitcoin price itself, higher high on the CVD indicator. What does that mean? Buying pressure is coming in the market exactly at where? our daily high term time frame area of resistance as we match right here where we got of course right now for the past couple of hours or actually for the past couple of minutes some kind of a very small rejection towards downside but in my opinion that is not the most important information that we need to pay attention to at this specific area look at the open interest that increased a couple of hours ago this one right here significant open interest increase not only on the Bybit chart right here we can also pay attention to the aggregated open interest right here on CoinGlass and you are going to notice significant increase. Now, we need to ask ourselves, is this buying or selling pressure that is coming in the market? And all we are going to do right here, zoom in slightly, where we are going to notice 336% volume increase and approximately 19 million more buying versus selling pressure coming in the market. So we can definitely say longs are being open exactly at this specific area on the Bitcoin price itself. Is this bullish or bearish indication? To be honest, when we combine that with the bearish divergence that is happening on the CVD indicator, of course, I would say it's not really going to be the biggest bullish Bitcoin indication. However, I would still say, zooming out, let's say, on the four hourly time frame and looking at this specific price action, I think you can actually agree with me, it does not really look super, super impulsive, especially when we also apply our volume indicator on our chart. Yes, on this push towards downside, we got some kind of a volume increase and also right now for this entire push towards downside we are also seeing a very similar volume increase but i would still say this price action right here does not really look extremely extremely impulsive and can still be some kind of a part of a correction that is why personally yes i am interested longing maybe even at this specific area or maybe even at a sign of strength because also knowing that some very important indicators are right now being in the oversold area money flow indicator rsi indicator on the four hour time frame this one right here entering the oversold also rsi right here entering the oversold area on the four hour time frame which of course usually when we got the oversold on the money flow and also on the rsi we got a significant push towards the upside on the bitcoin price itself so right here at this specific area we have only three options take profit from your short position, no position at all if you're not interested trading Bitcoin in this specific area or potentially going with a long or a buy because of course after such a big push towards downside we are not looking to go with a short only a potential long or a buy position. Now to be on a safer side I would actually say wait two more hours before the CPI data is going to be released because in the upcoming hours we are going to see CPI data release. Year on year we are actually expecting a decrease in CPI but definitely wait some more hours of course maybe when this video is live you already have the cpi data but nevertheless in the upcoming hours significant volatility on bitcoin can actually be expected and i would say because we are trading at the bottom of our descending channel, because we are grabbing the liquidity below our previous low, I would definitely say we can be more interested going with a long or a buy position. Now, when the CPI is going to came out right here, maybe we can expect some kind of swing failure pattern below the previous low, and maybe then a reaction towards the upside, but nevertheless, I would say if you're interested in trading Bitcoin in this specific area, only a potential long or a buy position, or you can also potentially wait for some kind of a sign of strength. Sign of strength on Bitcoin would be if we are going to be able to reclaim our previous highs, our previous lows at the area of approximately 27,200 US dollars. So I would say if you are looking for a trade, make sure you are not looking for short or sell positions, only buy or long positions at this specific area. If we are going to drop lower, what is going to be our next support level for you to pay attention to? It's simply going to be our weekly high term time frame area at 26,200 US dollars. But nevertheless, after such a big push towards downside, I would definitely say long or buys, make sure you do have proper risk management make sure you are protecting your trade with a stop loss if for example we are going to dump immediately towards downside but nevertheless it is the support area we are trading in the oversold on many different indicators and definitely once again first of all in my opinion it's better to wait for the cpi and only then fire a brand new trade on the bitcoin price itself and if you want to go with a brand new long or a buy i would definitely suggest you to secure the 30,000 us dollar free trading bonus available on bybit start using the best trading bots on okx with the second link down below in the description Thank you very much if you right now actually smashed up the like button. Have a great day and peace out.